Well, from uh, smartphones to smart homes, technology is designed to make our lives easier. And now a pilot program at a family farm in Northfield is ready to spread its wings. In tonight's Maury's Stories, our Maury Glover is talking turkey and introduces us to Poultry Patrol. <laughs> Robots can do everything from surgery to security. There are even robotic dogs that open doors and bust a move. And while these advances in technology walk a tightrope between the present and the future, they're also ruffling a few feathers on one Minnesota farm. John Zimmerman's family has owned this farm for 150 years. I think it's mainly the independence. You know, I'm my own boss, uh, the freedom to do what I want when I want to do it. And it's also a fairly good leaving. And I, and I like being able to see the fruits of my labor feed so many people. But with six barns to manage between himself and only one other employee, the amount of manual labor is enough to make anyone cry foul. You're caring for another living being. So you, you have to, you're constantly watching and caring for their, their well-being. You have to make sure they have access to food and water, that they're healthy, they're getting fresh air, um, that they're just in, in, in good physical condition. That's where poultry patrol could come in handy. This robot being tested at Zimmerman Farms roams around the barn and keeps an eye on 8,000 young turkeys to make sure they stay out of trouble. My dad passed away, but I, I, can, I can just see him shaking his head that, you know, you know, what the hell are you doing, John? Why are you letting a robot, you know, what, what is this? Because he, he had trouble with, you know, digital thermostats. With three cameras and an environmental sensor, the robot monitors conditions like temperature, humidity, and ammonia levels as it drives around. One day, its developer hopes it'll be able to remove dead poultry, pick up eggs, and till the bedding on the barn floor to keep it fresh for the birds. Long term, we plan to make it fully autonomous so it can just you know, basically Roomba around in the poultry barn without people having to watch it. Uh, and there's a lot of variations we can do on that. Like as it's Roombaing around, if it sees an issue with something, it can notify the farmer like, hey, I just saw this, you know, uh, this bird limping, is this normal or whatnot? Or the farmer can be like, ah, I don't really care about it notifying me, just give me a summary at the end of the day. Jack Killian says his pet project is no wild goose chase. In fact, he came up with the idea while working on a goose chasing robot for a homeowner on Lake Minnetonka as a grad student at the University of Minnesota. They're very good about forming a, a line of geese and marching up and down the lawn back and forth and really just covering it in goose poop. So it was unenjoyable uh, uh, and you basically could not walk in it. Uh, and so the, the robot, it uh, has its charging station. It can detect a goose and can notify the operator to log on and chase the goose. We have the code for it to do uh, an autonomous chase, but uh, we still have to build some more trust that it doesn't decide there's a goose in the lake and chase it straight in. After learning that Minnesota is the nation's number one turkey grower, Killian thought the rolling robot could gobble up some of the tedious work involved in making sure the birds are well taken care of. So far they don't seem overly scared of it. They don't uh, particularly care other than when it's more making them get up and move. They're a little annoyed, but Otherwise, they're perfectly fine with it. While poultry patrol is already at the top of the barn's pecking order, if it can make his turkey farm more efficient, Zimmerman says that would be reason enough to give thanks. Well, I, I'm not looking for a Terminator that's going to come in here and just take over. But I, like I said, I want it to be able to do some of the, the more drudgery type tasks. So I, mean, I think the sky's the limit. And that's what's been really fun with these guys is imagining what it can do. And then they go to work on the program to make it happen. In Northview, Maury Glover, Fox 9 News. Well, Killian says the plan is to continue testing the poultry patrol at Zimmerman Farms through the end of next year. Then if all goes well, they would sell more of the robots to other farms across Minnesota and maybe even across the rest of the country.